was a great feeling. I was very happy, but it doesn't really sink in. I really want to come out firing and show uh, myself and uh, everybody who's watching that uh, I can win it. 20 years ago, Richard Krychek won Wimbledon. Yeah, it's, it's always a good feeling. Every year I come back, um, yeah, you're like, uh, hey, I'm, uh, yeah, I won here a long time ago. In grass courts, it's a completely different kind of tennis, and we just have to try to volley the ball as much as possible. Are nervous till the last point, then you win the last point, you're happy, and then suddenly it's just everything just goes by without that you really realize what's happening. I felt very good, very, very happy, and very relieved. I never knew that uh, it was such a yeah, such a big, uh, I say, uh, stone on my back that I didn't win the Grand Slam. Yeah, after I won that, I really had a tough time to, to find a reason to play. So I was telling myself, OK, you want to win another Grand Slam, you want to become top five player. You can tell yourself, but you have to feel it. For me, it took a long time to really get over the, the high and the happiness of winning Wimbledon. But that was part of winning Wimbledon and uh, it, it was a great learning process and I'm happy I went through it. After victory in SW19, Krychek went on to win seven ATP World Tour titles, reaching a career high ranking of four in 1999. Wimbledon was the springboard for the Dutch star's career. It's very nice, you know, because also when you win, and I didn't know it at that time, you become a member of the club, which I knew that, but I didn't know what it meant. But now, after the tournament, a lot of times I come back with friends and I'm allowed to play on the courts. Not on center court, that's only for the tournament, but on the outside courts, and then we have lunch here. So uh, it's not only during this fortnight I enjoy being Wimbledon champion, but also other uh, moments during the year. I, ca I can come here and, uh, and, and really um, yeah, yeah, soak it all in. Wimbledon is probably the, because I, I won here also, it's special for me, but also it's, it's a tournament I'm always the longest because I do two weeks, uh, the whole two weeks I do BBC Radio for the last four or five years, I think, and uh, I play the seniors event in the second week, so I'm always very involved in this tournament somehow. No matter what happens, you know, I've, I've got this title and if, if I retire, when I retire, I, I think I can retire with a great deal of satisfaction. It's like a boy who dreamed to win Wimbledon. You, how many people can accomplish their dreams? Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, triple action. We're in Bastard, Hamburg and Newport. And the race is on. Who's where in the battle to make the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals? Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, powered by Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.